Well, it's uh, 10 minutes to 11. I'm headed to the patch. My buddy, uh, Relic Shark Hunter Bob, is going to meet me there. He's the first guy I ever went relic hunting with. He hunts the beach with us some too. You haven't you've seen him, but not recently. Shark Hunter Bob. Bob Combs is his real name. All right, stand by. Okay, here we go. The wilderness, the field. I, I used my long shovel yesterday. I forgot to tell you all that. It made it a whole lot nicer. We'll see what the day brings. It's a beautiful day. I mean beautiful. You couldn't draw it on paper it'd be any better. I'll get back to you. Look at that pile of dirt. Let me back off a little bit so you can get a better perspective of it. That's... I don't know how deep that is. That's deep. Twelve. Unbelievable. Well, we dug a couple square nails. I mean, not square nails, just some rusty nails, uh, bottom of a 22, and you saw the modern bullet. Here we got a nice 15, 13. see what that is I get back to you I guess that little round eye made it sound good well button number one I can see the stars I can see the anchor it's different than the one we found yesterday we found some of these before in 2009 though they're a little smaller it's in good shape, considering it's been here so long. I think it came in as an 18 or 19. Let's see. 18. About five inches or six inches deep. Well, you dig this, you jump from that's indiscriminate. 31, 32. I put it in all metals. Now, I wouldn't normally dig that, but I'm going to dig it just to see what it is now. There it is, a blank. I got, this is the third one of these I got. Well, I'm up here along the edge of the river. If you went over that little clump of trees, the river would be right there. This is the, uh, let's see what this would be. The eastern side, I guess. This is the only place I know there was a coin found. There's a three cent coin found here and a Royal Navy button. We got a nice 15. Solid. Let's get at it. I'll get back to you.
Solid 12. Let's see what solid 12 is. Oh, it's picking up my damn uh, thing here. I think it fell back in a hole. Stand by a minute. A 22. I wasn't expecting it to be a 22. Truck on a bike showed up, and he's got a, I don't know what it is, pretty cool though. I thought it would be a hammer off a flint lock. Yeah. Window lock. Window lock sure might be. Heavy though, ain't it? Yeah, it's heavy brand. That's what it kind of looks like a window lock, yeah. don't it? The yeah. top of the window lock. Throw that in the swamp. Let me see it. 410 I just yeah. dug. All right, let's get with it. Shark on her bob. And that's our host, Mr. Jack. He's one lets us in here. Hunt for these buttons. What? <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's button number two. Jack, take a look at her. That's been down there a while, ain't it? Huh? <laughs> 280 years. Been down there. Nobody's touched it. You rode over a lot. Damn right, you rode over. <laughs> that nice back on it, too, doesn't it? Yeah. It's got a dirt or something, or a nail or something, isn't it? Probably oh, dirt. Oh. Yeah. Lose it in a split second, or something. <laughs> what do you think? You put the acid, clean them. No, I just use a toothbrush. A toothbrush, clean yeah. them off. I can't tell what's got any design on it. Though. It looks like on the back. Yeah, it, well, they got writing on the back of them. That's yeah. how you can really ID them. What they are. Most of these bigger ones have been just plain flat buttons, but not all. We found some artillery buttons in here. What different people had different buttons? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a cannon guy, he had different. Yeah, he had cannon, cannon with a cannonball and wheels. No shit. Mm -hmm. Actually, I got, I, I got a. All right. That's a good one. Lot, solid, pretty solid. Eleven or twelve. And all metals, it sounds good too. I expect a shotgun shell or something. No, damn, I've been fooled. I think. I really don't know what it is. It's not a not a nail, I don't think. I got no clue what this is. Buddha looks like Buddha. <laughs> we'll get it cleaned up when we get home. Chest piece, maybe. Well, 
we found a fair amount of wood wood splitters wood splitters here but that's the first axe we ever found there's an old ticket i think Well, I'm headed to pick up Low Tide Tim and his bride. Me and the uh, skipper are going to Italian. Two for one special tonight. We'll do the roundup when we get home. Okay. Twenty-two, some bullets. You saw that doodad. You saw some of the nails. I don't think you saw that shotgun shell, you may have. Some 410s, some 22s. You saw the buttons. But I don't think I showed, yeah, I think I showed you. I'm not sure, I don't know what this is. I just know it's cool. First thing we found cool there. It, uh, it's, it's got little teeth. If you can see them right all through there. Like it clamped onto something. I'll have a better picture of it so you can see it. Got a hole through the top. Anybody got any idea what it is? Sound off. This button just appears to be a plain flat button. Nothing on the back that I can take. This is uh, very similar to a lot of buttons we found in 2008 and 9. It's got the eagle and the anchor. But the, the stars are on the outside edge of the button. It's a little different design. I think this could be a navy button. Whereas the other ones are marines. But this could be a marine too, so you know, what do I know? I hope my button person will tell me. I'll have a better picture of it too. Wasn't too bad a day. I don't know if I can go tomorrow. Thursday, I mean Tuesday is gonna rain like cats and dogs. I got some knives to take back tomorrow near here and pick up some. Not from far from the Max Rancho Max. So if I can make it work, I'm going to go for a short spin. I got a spot, another spot I want to check out. We'll see how it goes. I'll see you. Shark owner found some shotgun shells. <laughs>